Hey guys, what's going on? Troy at Mountain Man Treasure here, and I screwed up. Mountain Man. Mountain Man. Treasures. I find stuff that I think is underpriced, and then I sell it again online for a profit. And, uh, well, that's what I do for a living now. And so I got to be good at it. And I've been doing this for a while now, and I, I, I think I am good at this. But... Even veterans out there make mistakes. And you know what? I made one. And to make it worse, I made one on something that one of you bought. And I didn't have it to send. We're going to talk about that. But first, let me show you what I sold that I actually did have that I could send out. Taking a look at what has sold so far out of the old eBay store. We'll start over here with some Harley Davidson boots. These really cool boots. Got patches all over the place, zipper on the side. Nice amount of dust though, because, well, they took forever. They've been sitting in my store for, I, th I think, a year. And finally, they sold, they actually sold overseas. I think they're going to the UK. 93.62 euros. That's about $103 thereabouts. So nice sale. And then something else that's been sitting around for a while, finally moved. These Harley Davidson leather gloves. Uh, in, in not the best size. I mean, they're sized medium. They actually fit like a large, though. So, I, you know, I, I thought they'd do better than they did. It's just they took forever. So some leather gauntlet-style gloves. Yes, even rich Corinthian leather. Very soft gloves. Very nice. They went out the door for $36.84 plus shipping. Real low dollar sale over here. Sorry, Barbie. This is a family YouTube channel. Uh, your Barbie twist and turn Barbie with the big earrings. Yes, big earrings sold for five ninety nine plus shipping. Go over, go over there, Barbie. We sold some more media. Love this movie, Humphrey Bogart, Treasure of the Sierra Madre. If you're the police, where are your badges? Badges? We ain't got no badges. We don't need no badges. I don't have to show you any stinking bike. Uh, this one going out the door for $9.98 plus shipping. And then the Land of Pharaohs. This one sold for also $9.98 plus shipping. So there's a couple of movies. We have a book also. And this, a viewer of the channel, Chris, came in and bought this. Life on the Edge, Dick Robinson. This is the guy that is like the real life Grizzly Adams. This is actually who that is, patterned after him. So cool book. And so Chris picked this up for nine ninety eight. Said, uh, wish you the best on your uh, your full-time venture now. So Chris, I sure appreciate it. Thank you for coming in and showing some support that way. That means a lot. Uh, we, we sold a game, PlayStation 2, Total Overdose, a gunslinger's tale in Mexico. And it took an offer on this one. It was listed at like 14 and change. And they sent me initially like a, I don't know, 7 or $8 offer or something like that. And I, I just straight declined. And then they came back at 10 So I could tell, you know, okay, they want this game. They're just trying to get a good offer. I mean, a good deal. And so I sent back 12 They sent back 11 And I took it. So $11 plus shipping for that guy. This one. A Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles vehicle from 1991, I believe. This is the sewer boat. It doesn't have all the pieces. It's got one bomb on, on the side, or one of each on the side. doesn't have it on the other. So not complete, but still sold for $12 plus shipping. Sold another Moon Knight. This one, Moon Knight number 52. This is a uh, two-in-one. It's the Thing and Moon Knight. So a little bit of a crossover. Pretty cool magazine. And or comic, I guess not a magazine, but it sold for eighteen seventy seven plus shipping. And then I guess the last thing that we got over here is this guy. It's a horse of a different color. This is pretty cool. I've sold some of the painted ponies you've seen on this channel in the past. This is very similar. It's just it's a Christmas ornament. I mean, you guys, Christmas ornaments sell year round. Christmas stuff sells year round. This actually sold for thirty eight dollars plus shipping. Bit later, and we've got a bit more to ship out and to show you we'll start off here another game going out this bust a move for the old super nintendo this one sold for 28 13 plus shipping again like we talked about in that last video i got weird prices sometimes how about genghis frog 
from 1989. I'll put him in an actual nice bag, but when I store things, I often put them in sandwich bags, that sort of thing. Uh, so Genghis Frog from Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, 1989. He sold for $9.98 plus shipping. The, uh, the old touch an object and it sells. It happened with this one. I was actually moving some stuff around the other day, like maybe two days ago. This has been sitting around for months and months. And uh, picked it up, moved it, put it in a better spot, and uh, all of a sudden I got an offer on it. And so it was a little bit lower than I wanted, and there are higher comps out there in the past, but it's been sitting for a very long time, and so we took it $30.24 plus shipping. That was the offer they sent. See, so sometimes they send the weird cents in their offer. I'm sure they're trying to get it to an even price or something on their end, but Heart of an African Hunter going out for 30 bucks and change. Another video game, Guitar Hero World Tour. Or the PlayStation 2. This one sold for $14.75 plus shipping. Another Moon Knight title. That Fist of Khonshu number one from 1985. My Moon Knight stuff has, of course, been moving with the new Disney Plus series. And this one sold for $14.73 plus shipping. Right over here from Disney Cars, Pixar. This is uh, Luigi. Is that what his name is? I think that's Luigi. Black wall tires. They blend into the pavement. But these white wall tires, they say, look at me. Here I am. Love me. That I got with a whole bunch of other cars from a Goodwill clear bag. And sold locally. I paid $12 for a total of four bags. And sold locally, all the ones that weren't worth selling online, just the generic Hot Wheels and stuff like that, sold those for 15 bucks. And so we were already in the profit just off of those. And now I'm selling off these individual, mostly Disney cars, a few Hot Wheels, stuff like that. They're not huge money, but we're going to make quite a bit of cash off of these things. Super easy to put them in a little 4 by 4 by 4 box. He sold for $5.99 plus shipping underneath that. The KG Racer, he's an insectomite. I, I don't know what that is. He's a little... RC Ladybug. I, I got it at a garage sale a year ago. It's just been sitting at like 10 bucks plus shipping. Somebody sent me an offer of seven and I took it. Like, let, let's get this thing out of here. We sold a tool. Where is it? Here it is. This is uh, made in the USA. It's an SK. SK is a good brand. Keep an eye out for it. It's an 11 16th combination wrench. And most of these you won't get huge dollar on, but I bought an entire paint bucket full of wrenches like this with Craftsman, SK, all sorts of stuff in there. And so it's all profit very, very quickly. This is all profit, $8.99 free shipping. So we'll make a couple bucks is it, but we're making a couple bucks over and over and over when these things sell. They do take a little while. So don't think that most of these are going to, you're going to list them and you're going to get your money right away. It does take a while to come in, but these vintage made in the USA hand tools absolutely have an audience. Sold a couple of DVDs. This one, Bobby Fischer, the Fritz Trainer. This is a Masterclass Volume 1. Hope you learn how to play chess. Got this from the recent estate sale. Paid uh, probably a dollar for it. And this one, selling for $14.73 plus shipping. And then to another buyer, another CD. I think this might be a CD-ROM. Yeah. Put in your computer. Again, learn how to play chess. How to play chess better. I know the rules. I can't really play a lot, not well. Fritz 17, selling for $15.57 plus shipping. And one more making the cut before I drop things off at the post office. The Amazing Spider-Man 2099 with his assault weaponry. The, uh, the packaging, a little bit rough, right? But not awful. This selling for $29.81 plus shipping. So really nice sales, happy with everything that's been moving out here lately, eBay seems to have rebounded for me. I've, of course, put in more work into eBay here in the last little bit since that is the focus now, though YouTube certainly pulls some time away from that. So trying to find that balance right now, something I'm working on. But I mentioned, of course, at the front end, something that I screwed up on. Well, Monica came in and purchased a knife from me, a folding knife, a multicolored handle on there. Really cool. I, I, this is something that I picked up, oh man, it would have been a couple of years ago uh, in a quantity listing. I had a whole bunch of them. I must have had 10, 12 of these things and they've slowly been selling 
over uh, over the last couple of years, and uh, apparently I had one left. At least that's what it looked like. And Monica sent me an offer on that knife of 10 bucks. I think it was priced at like 12, 13, I don't know what it was. Certainly a fair offer, and I accepted it. That made it worse, right? Because when I got in to get it, now it's not in a bin that it doesn't belong in. I know exactly where they all were, uh, and it's not in there. Went through the bin twice, took everything out. It, it's just not in there. So the only thing that could have happened there is that I screwed up the quantity listing. You what? Said I had 10 of them and I only had nine or I had 11, I had 10, whatever it is, I was off by one. And so when I sold the last one to Monica, I didn't actually have that to sell. Um, now, thankfully, uh, Monica is a fantastic human person. I contacted her and said, hey, look, here's, here's what happened. I feel really bad. And so what can I do to make this right? You know, I said, you know, I, I, I've got mugs. I got T-shirts. What's your size? I'll, I'll send you something. I'm, I'm going to send you something. going to refund your money. We're going to make this right. Or if you see something else in my store that you like, let me know. She uh, wrote back very quickly and said, you know what? No, no refund. But uh, yeah, just send me a shirt and, and we're all good. And so, uh, Monica, thank you so much. She said she's learned a lot from this channel. And uh, now, Monica, you are an object lesson for the channel uh, because it's a good reminder. You know, it, it's, I've not sold something I didn't have in a very, very long time. I can't remember it the last time. And uh, this was just a screw up on my part on, like I said, the quantity listing. And so you've got to be careful with that stuff. When you start getting down on the quantity of listing stuff, what I should have done when I got down to three, two, you know, in that, in that range, uh, you know, four, three, right in there, probably I should have gone in and double checked. I should have done inventory and made sure that the quantity that was listed on the listing on eBay was the quantity that I had in the bin, you know, and I didn't do that. I, I, I got lazy with it. I didn't do it. I just assumed and it bit me. And so, like I said, thankfully, Monica was very cool about this, but uh, she had every right not to be, right? I, I, I put myself in a bad spot. I just kind of got lucky there that I had a fantastic buyer. Now, what do you do if uh, you don't have a YouTube channel and the person you screwed up the order on is not a, a, a viewer? Well, you hope that they're a very good person like Monica, but you, you do a little bit, I, I suppose, or at least I would do what I did there, you know, and say, hey, here's the situation, you know, be honest about it and say, look, I can refund and, and cancel your order for you, full refund and my sincerest apologies. You can uh, do, I guess, a little bit like I did. If you had other knives, say, hey, I've got these other knives. Would you be interested? Um, you know, I've heard people say, you know, give, give them 25% off anything in your store, you know, which I think is a good idea as well. Say, hey, look, Anything you want, find something. I mean, maybe they're going to pick something very expensive, but you know what? It was your mistake. So you eat it and you try to make it good. You try to make it right as best you can. You, you try to provide customer service. Put yourself, you know, ha ha have some empathy, right? Put yourself on the other side of that transaction and think, well, you know, what what would make me feel better if, uh, if the situations were reversed? So I screwed up and uh, Monica helped me make it right. And yeah good object lesson. If you've got a quantity listing out there, guys, go and double check it. Make sure that uh, what you say you have is actually what you have. So that's what I have for you today. I sure appreciate it. Hit the thumb before you take off and uh, hit that bell. That'll let you know when we put new stuff up. And otherwise, I'll see you next time. Bye, guys. Mm -hmm.